because I'm gonna make enchiladas with sour cream enchiladas with arroz and frijoles. But we don't have sour cream. So but we're gonna go get it, okay? So I'm doing first I'm doing my beans because these take forever. And you wanna pick out the nasty ones like this. The ones that are ugly and shriveled up. Okay, so one thing and that I didn't do sometimes. beforehand yeah, was actually soak sometimes. my beans. Don't um, you don't okay, have to soak, soak your beans, okay. but it's a good thing so to now, do because it actually removes sugars and gases from the beans, and it helps them cook much faster. Okay, so so actually, if you do soak do your beans, that. do it overnight. All you do is put them that's in any kind of container that. and cover them up with water, that's and that's the, it. Uh, the garlic and onions. <laughs> Right here. When compras this? This actually I got it at I think I got it in Rio Rio Grande. Uh-huh. Rio, I think. So I'm gonna let it sit there on medium high. And we'll be back to check on them in a little bit. Okay. Y'all wanna see my beans? That motherfucker's burnt. Don't go to the store while you're waiting on these to cook, all right? But I had a feeling that was gonna happen, so guess what? I might have been done for leaving the house. Where is it at? I got me some more. <laughs> Cause I already knew that was gonna happen. I really, I went to the store and we took too long. I forgot about the beans. Yep, look. Oh my Christ, Who wants some beans? They free. Right, next is the chicken. The chicken. The chicken. That's just chicken breast. That's what I had. That was my fault. Put some onion. That was my fault. And same thing as the beans. Onions, garlic, salt, and a little bit of cooking oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, whatever you use. Baby oil. Baby oil. Ooh, I bet it tastes good. Hold on. I feel like it, it needs some salt. I'll just, just by looking at it know what it is wow i never turned this one on wow <laughs> now i get they already done <laughs> cookie with amy look at that y'all want to come see these are my beans they're not done yet though they need a little bit more Salt. You think they need salt? Yeah, remember we tried some them? more sodium? You haven't. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Now that. Hold on. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh. Well, hi. Hey. <laughs> All right. I'm going to throw this one away. <laughs> Where, where, where you burn everything or you throw everything away. <laughs> Cooking show, baby. <laughs> you are so careless. Look, let me see your forehead. <laughs> now I'm going to put the chile This is um chile, ¿cómo se llama este? Serrano. Serrano, Serrano pepper. Serrano, Serrano pepper. This is serrano pepper. <laughs> One of the hottest peppers of the world. <laughs> the finest peppers of the world. Man, who wants to donate your girl some pants? <laughs> uh, I need some, as you can tell. This is, these are all the pots I have, that's it. No more. Okay, come here, don't stay over there. Okay. Y'all see how the color's changing? It went from bright green to this darker green. It's getting there. It all, it all has to be like that. You zoom in. Now I'm gonna do the mixture for the sauce. You know, real quick, we're gonna whip it up. We need three tablespoons. That's what it said, three tablespoons. So I'm gonna put one, two. I can tell that needs some butter. And I probably should have bought some more butter. I'm 
about to put this this much. I would say this is like half a cup. I don't know. I don't know. No sé. Puede ser. Now, this is what I'm missing. All right. It's all even. It's not mushy. You don't have clumps. None of that. I've, my mom's never made it like that. Well, That's I've crazy. never made it like that. So. <laughs> One. Oh yeah, y'all. I failed to mention that, that like this is one. the very first time that I even make That's enchiladas. So I'm right there with y'all. This Ooh, is my first time I mean, and they came out really good. Get the size in there. We don't want the crust to build up. Alright, this needs some more. I could just tell. Just by looking at it. Just by looking at it, I could tell. So you pretty much put, I would say that was about two cups. Yeah, that was like two cups. So two cups of this chicken stock. So well, if you notice throughout the video, I kept saying chicken stock and it's way? actually okay. not chicken stock, it's chicken broth. And there is a difference. I just learned See, that. Um, so with the chicken broth, it's made out of mainly right, meat and chicken base. stock is made of Wait, bony meat. So this is support. chicken broth. These are the beans, okay. Mm, they need a little bit longer. Put that on high. Why didn't I, why didn't I do this before? Oh my mm. gosh. Now, where's my sour cream? So, it asks for one cup. All right, we're gonna say that's one cup. Put it in there. Okay, so she's over there. Actually, she crazy. Alexa, pause music. Alexa. Alexa, pause music. Answer me when I talk to you. Thank you. All right. Well, she can't record, so I'm going to record now. She's over here doing the chicken. The chicken, the boil. So she's shredding it now. Oh, look at this, y'all. See, there you go, there you go. All right, this was the uh, sour cream with the butter and the flour. That's it. Oh, and, and the chicken stock. That's over here. That's not how it is. Okay, so I'm making my own sal. My own. Damn, I can't talk. I'm making my own salsa. Um, and I'm also gonna use some of that salsa verde that I I had forgot that I had, really. I didn't even buy it. My dad bought it when he was here. Is this even good? Oh, please check that. <laughs> oh yeah, March 2021. We good. We're gonna use this one. This is what it is. Can y'all see guacamole? Wait. Hold on, let me try it. Mm, I don't know if I trust this. I gotta taste it first. I don't even know. Mmm, oh yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be real good. Make sure you get this. All right, y'all, please make this at home. Somebody, at least one person, like, at least if, maybe it could be you, Kelly. <laughs> maybe she'll be the one person, but Follow these steps and do it. And I want to see if y'all did it. And I want to see how it came out. So, okay. I'm all over the place right now. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to turn. Ah! Here, how about I put this right yeah, there? So, yeah. Please. Okay. I'm not going to burn the food again. I think it was supposed to be like that. Can y'all see? Yeah, well, that's the, what that looks like. Put that in the blender. With, it needs some cilantro. I just bought this too. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, I put it down here. Wait, no I didn't. Where's my cilantro? Bro. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. And get a really good handful. I already washed this. It's crispy. 
nice and cool. Yeah. <laughs> that does not taste good alone. About this much. Can y'all see how much that is? Yeah. Put it right in there. Throw this away. Uh, some my friend actually said on girl this goes out to you because you were just asking me about this um, Yesterday, so what I do I don't completely cut the stem off Like I'm not gonna sit there and like, you know pick each one But I just grab it wherever there's the most and then just rip that off and then that's it That looks good. Then I'm gonna add some water actually no, I'm gonna add some of the chicken stock, and I know that's gonna be good. All right, right here, I'm gonna turn this off. So, just, I would say, that's like one fourth cup, no. Okay, you guys, so if you don't want to make your own salsa, you can actually just use the guacamole salsa that I just showed you guys, and that'll work perfectly fine, especially if you are if you don't like um, very spicy food. My salsa came out really spicy, but it just also depends on the peppers, honestly. Um, but, yeah, you can just go ahead and use the store-bought one. <laughs> and earlier, my house smelled like burnt frijoles. Okay, now. Dang, how do I hold this? All right, this is what this looks like. Then I'm gonna stir it. And this is uh, my sauce. Let me take y'all over here. Yes, the beans. I did not burn them this time. This is what they look like. Oops, am I even showing? Beans. Homemade beans, real quick and easy. That's why I burned them. <laughs> That's only because I left y'all, okay? But I can cook. Just don't do that either. Don't leave. Don't yeah, leave don't the leave the house. <laughs> I'm not taking to go. No, you're not. Okay, now I'm gonna make these real, real quick. Put that in there. Make sure it's even. Do you want to help me, Kelly? And then roll it real tight. Right. Like so. Then we got to stuff the ends, you know, because you don't want an empty Okay, end. so that something that I didn't do that I probably should have done was no, put some sauce sorry. at the bottom of my pan before I lay right. my you enchiladas in there. Only one. because I noticed really when quick. I when I was eating them, uh, the tortilla got kind of crispy from the bottom since there was no moisture there. So make sure that you put some sauce at the bottom of your pan before you lay your enchiladas on there. And I'm going to put it at 450 just because... It seems like a good number to me. Enough too. Ooh, barely enough, man, but we made it though. We did it. I'm just gonna put the rest of this on top just because it's not a lot. We're gonna go in with this pepper jack. That mozzarella cheese. I forgot to put this in the chicken, so if you want to put this in the chicken, yeah, you might as well. You 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 need to go ahead and do that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See anybody if I can do it, 
You can do it. Come on. Just get, just, just do it. Just try it. It's almost. Actually, it's, it's done. I want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> me. Uh, I don't even want to eat it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you going to eat it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. like the right That's so good. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I'm so sad that I totally okay, forgot to freaking buy my tomatoes like for the Spanish rice. So I wasn't able to make my own homemade Spanish rice, but I luckily I had these rice seasoning mix packets, That's and really it turned out actually. really good. And you can actually just buy these at like Walmart, Kroger. I'm sure they all have them. Um, but I will be making another video showing you guys how I make my own Spanish rice. From here to here. Not all of it, of course. You want, if you have bigger pots, use a bigger pot. Because I, I don't, but you need some aceite. A good amount because you don't want your beans to get dry. Then mash them up. Mash them up. Mash them up. Oh, that looks so good, y'all. Y'all All right, so I left my enchiladas in the oven Ooh. for about 15 minutes All with right. a 450 I degree temperature. Good. But I Marley honestly not. don't know what the correct temperature or timing for this is. So just a quick okay. tip that wait, I recommend wait, I for knowing when them. to take out your enchiladas is uh, once you start seeing all the cheese melt and start seeing mm. all the brown spotting from the cheese, then Look, your enchiladas are probably out. ready to take out. This don't look good. What? Ooh, we about to eat, and we got our coca. She got sangria. This is good too, but and we'll be right back, and I'm gonna tell you how it is. But you already know how it is. Thank you. But the only thing I'm not gonna lie, it's not it. The tortilla could be softer, right? And it's the chicken too. The chicken is uh, the chicken isn't. Y'all saw how. We did it. It needs to be finer than that. I'm gonna tell y'all. Mmm. But the taste. I did my thing right. Mm hmm. It's real good. All right, y'all. I'm out. I'm gonna enjoy this. I hope y'all try this. Follow me on Instagram. Let me know how it is. If you tried it. I want to see.